Hello fellow YouTube gardeners. I made this video on the 13th of March showing you how to plant seeds and I uh, had a good first take, thought I'd be able to use it, but I had to turn my mic on. So now I have to ad lib and try to figure out what I said a week or so ago. Uh, the first video I did showed how my garden looks from last season. It is covered with uh, four to six inches of oak and hickory leaves, and that keeps the soil from being compacted down during the winter. The bottom leaves will decompose, and the upper leaves and the bottom leaves will be turned into the soil where I'm going to plant my garden this spring. Uh, I'm having to do some of this from notes, so it might be a little disjointed. While there are a lot of steps to garden, it, it really isn't complicated. I used to be a salesman and we had a motto called KISS. It meant keep it simple stupid. That was meant for the salesman, not the buyer. You needed to say this while looking in a mirror. It's not complicated, but you must do certain things or it will not be successful. You take a lot out of your soil each year and you need to put something back other than just lime and fertilizer. Why don't you just pretend that you're one of my grandchildren and you, or one of my neighbors, and you just came over one day because I grow tomatoes and you wanted to have a garden and you wanted to ask me how do I get such successful tomatoes from my vines. So we're going to do this with no script, no acting, just you and me talking. When you take a lot out of your soil, if you put back in compost, it will replace some of the trace minerals you lost, and you do have to use some lime and fertilizer to make your garden work. In the video, you can see my box that I grow my plants in. It's made out of salt treated two by fours or two one by twos, and uh, half inch plywood on the bottom, salt treated. Uh, I have an electric tape that's used to keep pipes from freezing in the winter time if, it, if they're exposed and if you plug the electric tape in it's about 30 feet long and it warms up you can root it back and forth in this box uh, to where it won't touch each other because it can burn itself in half if you do I cover it with vermiculite and then I put uh, water on the vermiculite and once that heats up it gives my plants gentle bottom heat and Gentle bottom heat is what you need to grow seeds, and the heat's about 70 degrees. But today we're going to plant uh, better boy tomatoes, 4th of July salad sized tomatoes, and sweet million cherry tomatoes, California wonder peppers, orange marigolds, yellow marigolds, zinnias, blackberry lilies, and hosta seeds. I do this in four inch pots. I've got eight in a tray. Normally I would soak these uh, pots in water, uh, about an inch and a half of water for most of the day, and that would allow the, them to get wet. Uh, and it, it would absorb the soil. These are just four inch pots, standard, you can buy them anywhere. They're four inches across, three, and three quarter inches tall. They got holes in the bottom. Uh, I fill this up with uh, a seed starting material up to about a half inch, three quarters of an inch from the top, and then uh, level it out and I put it in trays of water, and that way it absorbs the water during the day. And I plant seeds in the afternoon, and uh, I'm not putting water in the trays, it just makes it easier to shoot the video. Uh, and you need to mark each one of these. Uh, little pot for what you're planting. I can put down like uh, 4th of July and I know it's a tomato. Some of you starting out, you might not know what a tomato or pepper looks like when it comes up from seed. You might need to say that it is a 4th of July tomato and you can keep them together and that way you'll be able to plant straight rows of the same plants. I've always used small containers to grow the seeds. It was a necessity because of lack of space. And I didn't have the room for the large trays. When I transplant to six packs, I only transplant the strongest plants. I can provide light easier 
with a tray of uh, plants in these little four inch pots. I'm planting these uh, milk and juice gardens. I cut the first inch and a half or so off. This particular brand happens to have a line there. Uh, I cut it off with a razor blade knife. Uh, you need to punch a couple holes in the bottom. Uh, I took this piece of pipe which uh, used to hold up a ceiling fan and a gazebo of ass and I sharpened the end on it so that I could use it as a punch. Uh, I take a piece of 4x4 four four post uh, and put it in a vise and you have to remember that this is a 2x4. You can put two 2x4s two together as long as they're the same length or use a 4x4 four four post and you put it in a vise and you just need to have it so that the carton is touching the top of the wood and then you take a hammer and this uh, anything to punch a hole in the bottom of it. After a while when you uh, punch enough holes uh, the tube and that metal uh, sharpened end will fill up with these little wax circles and you have to stick it in a vise and drive it over with a big nail or something because they will fill up and you won't be able to use it. Uh, What I'm after is big roots. When the roots, when I plant these plants in the six pack, and they get, they'll have to have true leaves on them. And then when they uh, get into the six packs, when the roots come out the bottom of the six packs, then I plant them in these cartons with my own uh, planting soil, uh, from, made up from a Pro Mix and compost 50/50, and have to use a little Miracle Grow on it. And I fill that up almost to within an inch of the top. And then when the roots come out the bottom of it, I know I'm in business. And then when this plant is about three or four feet tall, I plant it in the ground on its side. And I put six or eight inches of the stem of a stake and tie it off. And then I cover it up. That means I have all the roots in this pot. Plus I have... Uh, all the roots that come from the stem, that's why I get a lot of production of fruit, and that's why the system seems to work for me. Uh, I've got two more videos to do now that I've forced over this, and look for number two. Thank you.